So in the previous video, we started by making a main menu, which is a great place to start. It gives you an overview of everything that you're doing. You define your functions. You have a sense of where you're going with your program. Now, obviously, before we log in, we need to have a registration feature in place. So that's what we're going to work on. Now, you can pause the screen, here's the code, and type it in for yourself. Your teachers will have solutions. You need to be typing this out and learning it. And quick explanation, this simply opens the file, which I'll show you in, in a second, in the append mode. This is, you don't need that, but it's good practice. Um, this does mean that if you don't have a file, in the first instance, it will create one for you. Now, I've said FO, which stands for file out. You can call this anything you like, as long as you're consistent. Here, we're using the CSV. We're, we're defining what's called a writer, and we're calling it CSV writer. Very clever. It allows you to do all kinds of things in the background without having to manipulate the file that you're working with. And all you need to have done is written import CSV right at the top. Okay, so outside of any functions. Here we're simply asking for lots of user input. As you type it, you'll see what you're doing. And this is the key. This actually writes it to the file. So we have all these variables, such as username, first name, etc., and we are writing them to the file. Now, let's have a look to see if this actually works. And obviously, before we do that, you might want to have a look at the file. So, so far, we have a file which looks like this. It's useful just to make sure that the cursor is at the end, because sometimes otherwise it messes up the way that the file is being written to. So if you have any come up against any problems, just make sure the cursor is at the end. So here we are. The, the last person was a Pikachu. Let us I'll just make sure the cursor was at the end. Yep. And let us test this file to see if it works. Okay, so I'm going to register. I'm going to register with a classic Joe Blogs. Let's put in a little password for him. I'm assuming he's male. Now you'll note that this is not validated. I could put in rubbish and it would allow it, but we'll come to that at another point. Put in his beliefs. Let's put in his. It says it has been written to file. So if we check that, you see that our user, which is Joe Blogs, has been registered and his details have been stored. So here we are. Let's make sure that you get that working for yourself. We're going to then move on to making the login screen. So here's the whole code. That's where it ends. It calls the main menu, and that's where it starts. 